Well, good morning, everybody. It's a brand new day in Seattle. It's not quite as sunny as it was uh, Saturday when I was putting this window in. My next project here, I've actually only tacked these windows in. I've got a, three screws per window because I had to close it up for the night on Saturday night. Yesterday was Easter. It didn't work. And so what we're going to do is actually take these windows out again real quickly. And then we're going to put a shim underneath here just to raise the window up just a little bit because I want to raise it up only a quarter of an inch. And then I've also decided that I'm going to add another three quarter inch piece of this poplar plywood to the bottom. And these are my cutoffs from uh, this original piece here. So I don't have to go in there and use a sliding T-bevel to try to figure out the angle again. I can just put this thing up in here and get my exact angle. And it's 15 inches wide. And we're going to rip that piece and then take these in the shop and match them up and cut those angles off on the new piece and then we're going to attach the new piece of plywood underneath here. Okay, you're in my shop. It's all set up. And I'm ripping with the factory edge to the fence. This was cut off with my skill saw and it was just a little bit lazy, so factory edge to the fence. Okay, and my length was 91 and a half inches. side and right side because uh, it's just the way it worked out. That's my left side piece. That's my right side piece. And I'm just going to do a pen mark here. Pen mark there. Line. That's because that was a skill saw cut too, and I didn't want it to be crooked. Make sure you're straight, it's just straight, of course. There you go. Then I can use a skill saw to cut that. I'm going to adjust my blade depth. That's the bottom piece there, and then we'll screw that in place. I'll show you how to do that. <laughs> 